Hello and welcome to Unsighted, a multiplayer Metroidvania with Yuri elements. Azura doesn't want to play it though. So let's go in alone. Right. So what what makes it stand out from the last one you played? That also had Yuri elements. Okay, okay. Explore difficulty, explore your own pace and customize the experience. Action girl. Intent challenge shot. Okay. Or both on apocalypse. Time limit. No. Let's play Action Girl. Uh, I don't think you get a grappling hook in this one. But this also seems to be more of a top-down perspective. As opposed to side scroller. Collect the syringe to heal yourself. Press RB to heal yourself. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's right, kids. Inject yourself with the needles you find on the ground. Pop, pop, pop. I can't hear you. I'm a frog. Hop, hop, hop. You're not a bunny. Hop. No, I said I'm a frog. Hop, hop. Hop, hop. Hop, 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 hop. That is a mud garden, okay. Lab East Wing. So you wake up. I. We can run, we can hop, and we can inject ourselves with syringes. Ooh, something's glowing. I want it. <coughs> Unfortunately. Nope. Well, we better go up the stairs. Woo! One way path in Metroidvanias. This is a good Metroidvania, then we get a thing. Iron Edge, equip it in the pause menu. Oh look, our uh, image on the screen also changed. Oh, we get numbers of things. Hop, hop. <gasps> Something just broke! Oh no, now there's enemies! Oh, hey! Oh, wait. Huzzah! We got a wooden branch! Okay, the password is five six seven eight. Drat. I feel like I'm so close too. It's actually five six seven nine. Right. Oh well, I'm already out of the room. No point trying to put in the password now. the parry button. We'll point out that, like many Platypus. games, you can... What's up? Platypus? No. Uh, like many games, the controls are slightly inverted. A and B and X and Y are basically swapped. I have to choose between running and uh, aiming. Okay. So you can either hold down the run button or move the right stick to aim. Also, clones! Those clones aren't wearing any clothing. 
<laughs> Wake up, my dear. We need your help. Dr. Slog, NO95. Today was such a great day. Rayquil and Almar are finally getting along nicely and they're helping rebuild the city from the last human attack. Alma is a fast learner and I'm certain she'll be crucial to ending this conflict. I hope we can teach her more than strategies and fighting. There's so much more she's capable of. By the way, the new Olivero password is 1995. Better not forget it like the last time. Having to use the air ducts to get out of the lab definitely wasn't comfortable. So do you want to take the elevator, or do we... Identify biomass detect inside the perimeter of the lab. All personnel, evacuate to the elevator immediately. Oh god. I feel like I'm not supposed to fight this thing. Just a thought. I don't think that was the elevator. Nope. Oh no, I lost 86 monies. But now I'm fully healed with the full syringe, so... That's better. Alright, where's the air ducts? Let's try taking those instead. Uh, could you hold on a second? I need to put in the password, thanks. Welcome back, Doctor! So are we the unidentified biomass, or was that thing? It was either we were the unidentified biomass and that thing was security, or that thing was the unidentified biomass. There's mystery and, and intrigue in this game already. Help me! Are you over there? You look so strong. Help a poor fairy bot out over here. Bzz. Hey, thank you. That was rough. Um, that monster got the best of me and I ended up stuck on this pile of debris. Wait a second, you're not unsighted? Who are you? Who am I? Who am I? Okay, I got a pretty good idea. Rayquil. Is this your name? No. I think that's who I'm looking for. Rayquil. The name does sound familiar to me. Why don't you come with me? Going to the crater tower, I'm supposed to meet Vanna there. Vanna is super smart and strong. There's nothing she can't do. I'm sure she'll be able to help you. She probably knows who this Waco person is. Really by myself would be hard. You can fly! This is going with unsighted. Well, that doesn't seem very far away. Yeah, I figured.
Pla yay, platforming! Uh oh. It's a terminal, it's actually. You can equip your chips at the terminal. Why are you looking at me like that? You don't remember what chips are? Take these! This is chips! By one point. Cool. Sort of like a machine. I'm sure eventually we'll get like a nice double jump feature, but not yet. Yeah, I did heal. The crater tower is that way. Don't think you'd be able to cross that gap with your current equipment. Let's look around. Maybe you could find a grappling hook. <gasps> Ooh, push! Huh? You can push this thing, huh? I didn't need it for that part. Okay, how do I... I went left, knocked down. Nope, this is supposed to be stuck in that corner. Even though I'm not sure if we actually need it to be there, but that's what it's supposed to be. Uh 
Oh. Huh, wait a second. That's how that works. Come on, button. Alright, let's try this again. So with that in mind, I think we just push that big block all the way across, but yeah, we just push it all the way across. Well, apparently we don't. Oh, I see it now. Lower the platform, put it onto the platform, and then raise the platform? Yep. All to get a spin attack chip. What is this, Legend of Zelda? Or is that Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh, da, da, da. So you can go up to like here. that way. Yay, we put the edgeless, uh, was it the edgeless safety cube into the edgeless safety cube receptacle? Yeah, I know where this, I know where this key can go. close to dead, so let's just go here real quick and just recharge. Did you want to equip the chip? We don't have any extra chip slots, and I'd rather keep the stamina up and attack up that I have. Okay. So I don't even know how to do a spin attack. Is this it? Well, I imagine it would give you to... No, that's the enemies. They make a honking noise. Oh. Oh, look, a door. Sure, let's hop down. Got a gun. Uh, 
That's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay. Weapon one, sword, weapon two, gun. door. Hey, I already left an offering. Maybe it wasn't a door. Yeah, it's just a member of the Mafia. When is a door not a door? When it's a member of the Mafia? Oh look, there's a box up there. Wait a second. Can I? No? No. Okay. Oh well. So the gun is safer but slower, whereas the sword is, you know, faster but more dangerous. Yeah, sounds reasonable enough. Was it down here that we had? No, no, okay, never mind, no. Nope. Thank you for bringing yourself to my attention. Yeah. 
This looks like that mini boss fight. So let's just get that full. There. It's a great tower. Bet Brown is found here somewhere. Ooh. Anima Reactor 9. This meteor is the source of anima, the energy that gives all automatons consciousness. Because of this, you are all able to think, feel, and exist. The humans, however, think they can use the meteor for their experiments. They don't know how anima works, yet they crave it like hungry animals. If they get their hands on it, you all will be subjugated to their will and might not even be able to react. That's why I created you. We have to stop them for the sake of all automatons. Is the scientist also an automaton? Let's go back to the village for now. You cannot be late for your sword training with Raykro. Raykro? So afraid, Raykro. Don't worry, Alma. I'll be here for you. No matter what. Hey, you! Snap out of it! What is all that about? You got paralyzed there for a moment. I think I remember it. My name. It's Alma. Oh, it's about time. Nice to meet you, Alma. We've got to get you checked by a mechanic. Let's find Vanna and go home. Now, as I recall, not, not that way. Yes, there's nothing concerning about that power with eyes whatsoever. Everything is normal. Ah, watch out behind you! Oh no, there's more of them. Yeah, I feel like I'm not supposed to be able to beat them, but I mean, it is still possible. Here she is, Vanna! Let's help her! I mean, strictly speaking, it is possible to beat that fight. up any time now till I'll be waiting downstairs. Roger that, Fanna. Oh! Wow, talk about any time. Welcome home. Girl, you're in such a bad shape and Vanna brought you here. Can't believe he managed to fix you up. I don't think you remember me, right? I'm sorry. Don't worry, dear. Welcome back to the Gear Village. It's not as lively as it used to be, but we're trying to survive around here. Since you and the doctor disappeared, the humans took over control of the meteor. And it's been a mess. Those rogue automatons you probably saw in downtown, they are the unsighted. If you don't act quickly, we'll all go unsighted too. Well, I'm sorry. I don't want to overwhelm you. It's fine. Oh, and also you were muttering her name in your sleep. Raykro. You remember her, don't you? Yeah, but I can't remember much else. 
I feel that I have to be with her. You will, dear. Why don't you go downstairs? Diana wanted to talk to you. She might not show it, but she really misses you. BB42, local blacksmith. Aww, that would be expensive. Yeah, let me have with that. Take this blueprint. War axe! Some more blueprints. Okay. Iron ingot, sprocket. Ooh, shotgun! Dual wield shotguns or grenade launchers. I wonder if we can shotgun jump in this game. Defense cog? Defense would be useful. Question is, do I want that? I think. Yeah, I think it's either agile swords or guns. Is probably what I'd go with here. Yeah. Ooh, a, a gun! Oh, Alma, I can't believe it's really you, Vanna. Things have been very bad since you and Rico disappeared. Your memory seems to be scrambled after all this, huh? So let me start from the beginning. Long ago, everything changed years ago when a media crashed into the city of Arcadia. The media contained a form of energy called Anima that gave all automatons consciousness. The humans fled from the city and we, the automatons, started living around here. Still, a few humans continued to live with us. One of them was Dr. Zephyrina. She fought alongside the automatons and even created some of us. Not every automaton trusted her, but we did. And we were happy for a while. Remember, the doctor feared that the humans could come back for the power of the media. So she and her students took five shards of the media to study them. She then gave these shards to the five automatons she trusted the most around the city. I'm getting Zelda vibes from that. And then the humans attacked. We were overwhelmed in battle. That was when I last saw you and Rakewell. And suddenly, that thing appeared in the sky and sealed away the meteor. With the crater tower in place, the humans cowardly started stripping us of our consciousness. Our animals started running out, and those who lost it completely, first they went missing, or unsighted as we called them, but when they came back for us, we saw what had happened. They became rogue automatons that have no consciousness and only crave for anima. However, not all automatons went unsighted, not yet. Me, Olga, and others are trying to do something about it. We still have plenty of anima left in our bodies, so we try to get inside the crater tower, but it's guarded by those creatures. Ogre thinks the humans are using the anima to create them. The only way to defeat them would be using the energy of the media anima itself. If that's what we're trying to do. There's five meteor shards the doctor is studying. They are still around. With their power, we can create a weapon capable of destroying those creatures and entering the crater tower. The only problem now is getting past the automaton's uh, doctor instructed the shards to. Asana, the ancient deity, hid inside the garden caves to protect their shard. 
Luna, the light manipulator. She's been keeping us away from the museum with her illusions. Maria, the Lady of Frost, she secured one of the shards inside the frozen aquarium. Prom Prometheus, Rider of the Wind, Doctor trusted them a lot. The last time we saw them, they were at the highways. And finally, Project Nova, a group of Doctor students took a shard to create a powerful automaton in the factory, but they never confirmed if it was a success. We can't confirm it, but there's a possibility that they have all gone unsighted by this point. So we can't just go and ask them to give us the shards. Yeah, you got it. Also, outside of here, the city is infested with unsighted. It's very dangerous to try to protect everyone here in the village, but I might not last much longer. Then you shut up, Alma. You were created by the Doctor to be the perfect automaton to fight the humans, even surpassing pretty well. Um, that's why we think you are our last hope. You don't have to do this, but no, I won't give up. Even if this is too much for me to bear at the moment, no matter what it takes to save us, I'll do it. What they, the humans, are doing, it's too cruel. My gut tells me I can't give up on Wraith Bell just yet. Even though my memories are way too blurry right now, I feel like I have to find her. And I bet she's in there, in the Crater Tower. Oh, you've grown so much. I will collect these shards so we can fight on equal footing with them. Thank you. Don't worry, Vanna, I'll keep us safe. What, do you plan on going too, Iris? Yeah, I'm glad for everything you did to me uh, here in the village. But you know, this is something I'm looking for. Yeah, I know. To go with the armor, I might be able to find them. Hey, I won't stop you. Just be careful, you two, okay? Once you find all the meteor shards, Olga might be able to craft you a new weapon. One capable of entering the crater tower. Mark the location of the shards on your map. <coughs> Don't have to follow the order I've marked on your map, it's just a suggestion. Good luck out there. Hey, don't touch that! This weapon, the doctor used it before she passed away. 511 hours remaining. So if you want some advice, a friend of ours now that was heading uh, to our village with a new piece of equipment to help us find the meteor shards. I haven't heard from her lately. Walk around the map. I guess something might have happened. Equipment will certainly help you. Alrighty! I guess let's try to go to that distress call. So I don't know if Anna was clear enough, but we won't last forever. I know it's constantly running out. Yours too. 191 hours remaining? What do you mean we just wasted, like, over 300 hours walking outside this building? Oh no, it means the individual robot has that much time remaining. Okay. I'll go and say eventually if you don't do it. So much time you have left on the pause screen every time you enter a new area. Uh, you'll see how much time they have, just like you see my remaining time now. I found myself with... I hope they'll become unsafe. I hope it doesn't come to this. 325 hours remaining. Unsighted is a game with time limits. The gameplay and story designed about them. Is this means you can disable them. You can toggle this anytime in the pause menu. Well, that's interesting. Okay, shop. Oh my, I can't believe it! And it's you. Oh, you remember me. Ah! Um, no, your name popped up. Just got a little carried away. 
So happy you're back. You need materials, but I can sell them to you. Except from the human ruins. Let's look at what you have for sale. Okay. Interesting. So if I absolutely need a key, I could buy one here. Cool person. Swords. Can I get a katana? Can I get two katanas? Okay, that's what that is for. Hold the attack button. Oh, hey, what do you know? Chips. Okay, we will avoid you change the day. Alright. Chips. Hello, Samuel. Especially the anime. Computers and chips. Okay. Health chip. One health point. A little bit of stamina. I shall buy melee. Bolts acquired, but Yusa loses everything when defeated. Ouch. Remove stamina cost for running. I want this. 950, huh? Get 950 and then go talk to him. You got it. I just need to get some money first. There's, there's <laughs> spider bot. So cute. Oh, right. Wrong button. Back soon enough. Why does it have to be you? I think she can control us. It's not fair. What? But just because she has. It's not about her. I'm doing this because I want to. There's some of us out there haven't gone on site yet. We deserve a chance to, and I'm going to go help them. So, what's this all about?
Uh, yeah, sure, let's go find him. What's over here? Open up the door. Cool. Oh, yeah, look, another box. Media dice increases the time of the time's time by 24 hours. Increases damage dealt by melee weapons. Cool. Protects the user from taking damage. Just kind of walk right off, no big deal. Boss Vayner there delivered this piece of equipment to the gear bill, which was supposed to be inside of the side
Okay. Two, four, one, five, three. So I'll just pause real quick, go on to the OBS. Uh, da, 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 da. How, how do I uh, change this? Two, four, one, five, three. Done. We don't need that code anymore, so let me just Oh Okay. Boots! <gasps> Press A to high jump. Hit the parry button. Nice. That's a lot of money. Last time I was way back here. I hit the parry button. Four, three, five, one, two. Okay.
There we go. Spider Squish achievement unlocked. I'm gonna talk to me. Aren't you afraid to be real? What? Stuka, I've heard she's way more capable than you in combat. Pfft. I'm not falling for it, Vanna. <laughs> I'm sure you are. Hey, I'm back! Just finished showing the media creator to Alma! Reiko, can you help her with the sword training? Say hi, Alma! They're your friends! Hello! Hi! Won't go easy on you. Oh, plus 1200, is that monies? Here, you're back. My head, it hurts. What happened here? Just off after the explosion. I was so worried. Do you feel better now? I think so. Tartan, you just defeated his guard in the high jump boots. It's better if you keep them. We have to explore the city further and search the media shards. Yay, we got ups! Oh, cool, now we can just climb walls. Wall chip, don't lose bolts when defeated. I don't plan on being defeated again. Whew, that's a long jump. Over there! It, it's like a person! Okay, so she's not inside it. down here. We need a shovel to get past here. Okay. Let's see if there's a shovel around here. No, because... Okay, so we can't... 
definitely do that. There we go. 